My work at its core, specifically the works that are exhibited there, is really concerned with what conversations and imaginations for liberation can exist on the other side of some sort of um, apocalyptic event. I use that word very carefully. I'm not interested in apocalypse. I'm interested again on the other side of it. Something that's uh, become very evident and, and you can see it in the exhibition um, is that whatever that event will be is going to be tied to our climate crisis. Yo soy la pregonera. I uh, started developing this idea of creating a work that was going to contend with the environment and climate, but use it as a protagonist rather than a setting. You have Sin Agua. That work has a very specific conversation with water and indigeneity and how sort of thinking elementally about water and wind and sand as being perceived from a desert standpoint and then being perceived from a tropical standpoint and the histories of indigenous people with those elements as well as settler colonialism and how it malformed all of those systems to create essentially in, in that piece what modern Phoenix is, which is the place that it sort of exists against all odds in a land that is not meant to support life in that way. I would say that my like, curatorial interest is rooted in video. Videotape was this like new democratic form of image making, because when you have film, you have to like you make the film and then you have to develop it. And there's all of these costs that are associated with it. But video was is much more instantaneous. And I, I feel like Sophia's practice is really connected to that lineage. Sanagua is a good work to kind of point to because it uses all the cell phone imagery and like imagery that would be on social media. And there's, there's a, you know, artists now have access to a multitude of tools and visual culture. I do want people to leave the experience and feel really empowered that they have access to many of these tools. Something that I'm personally invested in is how we can start to think through these problems um, across borders and across nations and in an internationalist capacity. So while the work again, exists in sort of these very fixed points in time and space, um, the problem is unfortunately a universal problem. Whether that takes place in Puerto Rico or it takes place in Mobile, the conversation is very similar. If we're going to find a way through a climate crisis or the injustices of capitalism or the injustices of U.S. American imperialism. It's going to take the arduous and collective labor of radical imagination. It just takes a shift in what we believe is possible. And that's a really tall order. I, I don't know that my work does that all the time, but what I'm hoping the work does is that it allows viewers, whether it's through material engagement or through the way that I tell stories, to think, huh, I can use this tool that is imagination and think through our condition in a way that doesn't adhere to any of the models that are presented to us. That plurality is essential to us moving forward in a way that is equitable and includes everybody in really sustainable and, and care-driven ways. Viva Puerto Rico!